All right, guys, this video is for your instructions on what you are doing today uh, if you are at home working on the plate tectonic stuff. So if you're in school, we're doing a lab. So I went ahead and made this video so that if you needed to review what was going on today or didn't understand something, uh, I wanted you to go ahead and watch this. So as we look on Canvas, first of all, we are going to be looking in the plate boundary section. So let's take a look at the module. We're in the term 1.4 plate tectonics module. Uh, we are looking at step three, the plate boundaries. We are going to be looking into this plate tectonics investigation. The in school, we will be doing this plate boundaries lab. Uh, but if you are at home, you are going to be doing this plate tectonic investigation. Now, when you click on that, it actually looks like this. Um, here is the document that you'll need. And then there's a whole bunch of steps in here or a whole bunch of sources in here to help you complete this assignment. So let's take a look at the document because that is the first thing. When you click and download this document, it comes up with this first uh, opening activity, which is really watch this TED Ed on Mount Everest and then go ahead and answer these questions or this question in response to that. Guys, that video, even though I have it linked here, you guys can't access that. We've learned that through Squid. Um, that video is right here. So when you go to answer this question or do this one right here with that diagram, the video for it is right here. It's a short TED Ed. It's a great TED Ed, uh, super valuable information. So go ahead and check that one out. And then down here is where we get into a little bit of the nitty gritty stuff with as far as plate boundaries and plate tectonics. This is a little bit more of the information. Um, when you're filling this stuff out, there are all sorts of sources uh, that have been provided, provided for you on Canvas. When you're doing that one, I am going to recommend using this source. I think it, let me, let me see, let me see, let me make sure. I don't want to give you guys wrong information. <clears throat> um, no, so I'm actually going to recommend source number three. Source number three is a great source. It is the USGS uh, website. It is a great piece of information, and it goes through all those different boundaries. Now, you can certainly try the National Geographic one. That one's good, um, but I'm going to recommend source number three, that USGS Plate Tectonics. It looks like this website. It's got all the boundaries for you, lots of good pictures, uh, diagrams, all sorts of good things. You can go ahead and fill this document out using that source. I think that, that would be a great one. Down here, we have the Earth's plate. And again, it says use this source. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you which one that is. That is the plate tech or the tectonic plate map. That's right here, this source, the Britannica one. That would be great for helping you fill out the, uh, the different plates that are in there. Uh, we got to identify what plates are what, and so you guys are going to go ahead and put their names in there. And then here comes uh, what I think you're going to spend the majority of your week on. So really, we're going to work on this all week. And this is the project. Now, this is, can be either individual or it can be done in groups, but you essentially have five different options to choose from here with what you would want to do for your project. And you can see each one kind of has different criteria. Each one has different things that I'm looking for. But essentially what you're doing is some sort of creative way of demonstrating your understanding of plate boundaries. So, you know, for example, the breaking news story says create a fictional newscast that is reporting breaking news on either a volcano eruption or a devastating earthquake. And within that, you'll need to explain the details of the disaster and describe the science behind it, and you'll have to show some pictures, and you must interview at least one eyewitness survivor to describe the event. So trying to get a little creative with allowing for some uh, room for some scientific background to demonstrate how well it is that you understand the things that we've gone over. Listen, some of these can be done in groups. Some of them can be done individually. It's up to you, right? You're going to have to figure this out. I'm going to try to check in with everybody and see how they're doing, um, and you definitely shouldn't be doing this until everything else is complete. Um, but there is this component that will need to be turned in this group project, okay? So that is the rundown on everything that we need to know as far as the plate tectonics investigation. If you guys run into any issues, obviously let me know. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and send this out so that you could watch it and kind of see what you needed to do and where we were going as far as plate boundaries. Guys, let me know if you need any help whatsoever. I will see you soon.